Everyone has their quirks that others find annoying. But sometimes they can go too far. Your obnoxious behavior may cause your friends to be concerned. At times, if you want to correct this behavior, you need to be humble, control your gestures, and communicate better. So, we are going to watch about the how to stop being obnoxious. Method 1. Practicing Humility First is admit your faults to yourself. Consider making a list of the things you have done in the past that others have called annoying. Don't be too hard on yourself. Step 2. Apologize to others. If you have behaved in ways that have hurt your friends or family, apologize. Prepare a heartfelt and genuine apology and set aside some time to communicate this. Step 3. Don't brag. One of the most obnoxious behaviors that a person can exhibit is by being a bragger. Some people feel the need constantly tell others good things about themselves in a showy way. Step 4. Show compassion to others. Your friends love you, and you love your friends as well. Rather than being mean or aggressive with them, work to actively show them compassion and empathy. If your friend is particularly knowledgeable about a specific topic, trust that knowledge. Step 5. Remember that it's not all about you. Don't make everything about you, even if you feel that it is. The world does not revolve around you, just as it does not revolving around anyone else. Take a moment to step back from situations. Finally, determine if there are any underlying issues. Many people are annoying due to feelings of anxiety or insecurity. Others have a hard time reading social cues and are unaware to tell if others are offended or bored. If you feel that any of these issues speak to you personally, you might want to consider seeking out an expert. Method 2. Monitoring your body language. First is smile more. One way to overcome your obnoxious demeanor is by replacing your negative body language with positive. A great way to do this is to smile more. Step 2. Try to get rid of your bad habits. If you chew your gum loudly or have any other tics that really bother people, Work to actively get rid of those behaviors. If you can manage to stomp them out, people will feel less frustrated around you. Step 3. Don't take up unnecessary space. Practice self-awareness. One other behavior that is obnoxious is taking up way more space than is necessary. Take note of your behavior and watch how people respond or don't respond to you. Step 4. Keep an open body posture. There is a tendency, even amongst people who are not obnoxious, to cross your legs or arms when sitting. However, doing so can make you look closed off, or even mean. Sit and stand in a way that communicates that you are kind and inviting. Finally, don't be too loud. Another way that obnoxious people annoy others is by being very loud in conversation. If you do this as well, work to actively keep your voice down. You should not resort to whispering, however, but instead maintaining a respectful tone. Method 3. Developing gentler communication skills. First is listen to others. Obnoxious people often only listen, respond, or, even worse, to interrupt. Keep your thoughts and comments to yourself until they have finished speaking. Think carefully about their words and try to stay focused. Step 2. Be honest, but not mean. There is a difference between being truthful and genuine, rather than being downright rude. If you have a tendency to be rude or insulting, actively work to eradicate that behavior. 
Choose your words carefully and season any uncomfortable truths with some sweetness. Step 3. Be more positive. Negative talk can be draining for your friends and family. If you are constantly thinking of the glass as half empty, or making disparaging comments about others and or yourself, realize that people don't tend to enjoy being around people like that. Step 4. Don't interrupt someone when they're speaking. Interrupting someone is a surefire way to put them on guard and make them feel annoyed with you. Though you may get excited when in conversation, hold your comment to yourself until they are done speaking. Step 5. Avoid giving advice unless asked. Offer advice when asked. Remember that you are not the expert on the your friend's life. And though you have their best interests at heart, you don't necessarily know what's best for them. Finally, ask your friends how you can improve. You may be doing things that are annoying that you have no idea about. Get some clarity from your family and friends about your behavior. Ask them to be truthful. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.